Hello everyone, welcome to Medigac. Today we are going to discuss about goiter. The butterfly-shaped thyroid gland is located at the base of your neck. An enlarging thyroid gland is a goiter. A clear lump or swelling at the base of your neck may be a sign and might feel unpleasant or tender but are mostly painless. We will discuss this topic into five parts, they are Clinical features Etiology or causes Types Investigations And treatment Let's discuss the clinical features. Other than a swelling at the base of the neck, most persons with goiters don't exhibit any other symptoms or indicators. Clinical features are influenced by the goiter's growth rate, thyroid function, and breathing obstruction. Difficulty breathing when exerted, difficulty swallowing, hoarseness, cough, and snoring. Loss of weight, tachycardia, a rapid pulse increased, heat sensitivity, irritability, and anxiety, muscle tremors, routine bowel motions alterations to menstrual cycles, difficulties in sleeping, elevated blood pressure, higher appetite. Now come to the etiology or causes. Main principle is overstimulation of thyroid gland by TSH. Now this can occur by two different mechanisms. Improper secretion from an anterior pituitary microadenoma. In response to a persistently low level of thyroid hormone in the blood. Let's discuss the types of goiter. There are mainly two types of goiter, that is, simple or non-toxic goiter, and toxic goiter. In simple non-toxic goiter, this can be diffuse parenchymatous, colloid, multinodular, and solitary. In toxic goiter, this can be diffuse due to Graves disease, multinodular, and toxic adenoma. Now come to the investigations part. Investigations we can perform. Ultrasound is gold standard. FNAC, USG guided biopsy, CT scan. Now let's come to the treatment part. By taking iodized salt. Tablet thyroxine in a dose of 0.15 to 0.2 mg daily for a few months. Surgery, total thyroidectomy, subtotal thyroidectomy, total lobectomy, total thyroidectomy.